Sometimes we want to find the interquartile range from a cumulative frequency diagram. You can see we've got an example here and it's showing the scores that 80 students got in a science test. So what we need to do is to find the lower quartile and the upper quartile. And to find the lower quartile, we find the score that corresponds to a quarter of the way through our data set. So we've got 80 values. All we do is a quarter of 80, which is 20. And then we go up to 20 on the cumulative frequency axis. And we read across and then down to see what that represents as a test score. And it's 24. So we go across from 20, across from a cumulative frequency of 20, and we read down of the test score axis is 24. To find the upper quartile, we need to go three quarters of the way through our data set. We've got 80 values, three quarters of 80 is 60. So we're gonna go up to 60 on our cumulative frequency axis. We're gonna take a line across until we hit that line, and then we're gonna read down and see what that corresponds to on the test scores axis. Okay, and you can see that that corresponds to 36. So the test, the upper quartile for the test scores was 36, the lower quartile was 24. So to estimate the interquartile range from a cumulative frequency diagram, all you have to do is subtract that lower quartile from the upper quartile. In this case, that is 36, take away 24, which is 12. So an estimate for the interquartile range from this cumulative frequency diagram is 12. You can practice these questions and any other maths GCSE questions over at my website, mathskitchen.com. I'll put a link up here and one down in the description as well. Not only can you practice questions that are automatically marked, but we can keep a track of your progress and we can make recommendations that are gonna get you towards your target grade as quickly as possible. So get practicing today. Just follow the link up here or down in the description.